little hitch there while I turn my tape over. Squish, squish. All right, your companion places the paper cup into a recess in the front of the machine and depresses a small blue leather. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it, and your will permanently increase by 25. Perhaps there are more machines like this. We must find them in the distant land beyond. Blue is, I believe, Wayne's home. It is, yes. Three kittens now. I don't know if they appear with every party member. Um... Or what, but... Excuse me. Excuse me, cat. I don't think I slept on the couch, so I'm going to grab this. Roach food. We got a chitin and gherkin. Does she have a thing? I think she might have a thing where, like... She might have a thing going on where she can, like, only equip whatever... I totally forget how this works. And a palmetto shield. Let's put that on... Who needs it? You do. All right, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of stats in here, and like, it's kind of weird because I feel like most of them are unused. Like, it's kind of just a joke that they're here. These jellies doth stretch the skeleton, and nerves doth, doth indulge far beyond her life. Sure, man. We gotta be out on, on the lookout for bugs. For bugs. All right, let's go here. So yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff in this game where like, I feel like it was almost added as an afterthought in some case. In the next game, you just have gloves. Because, like, that's your attack. So putting on better and cooler gloves improves that. And since your your magic is you doing some noodly thing with your hand... All right, we need these. Since your magic is you doing something noodly and strange with your hand, up to 74. Um, then better gloves will also improve that for you. Is it this guy? There's a dude up here that tells me how to fight the flesh dash, and I don't remember who it is or how to fight it. Cool. Yeah, we since we skipped this area, and this is like a decent way to do this game as well. We skipped this area. We didn't really do the area, you know? Um, but now we can come back and grab all the meat. And that'll make it so we can do the final boss. The final boss is like, th there are kind of three types of fights in this game. There's fights where I'm just like, I'm fighting for my life and everything sucks and I'm getting my ass whooped. Um, and I don't know what to do and I don't know what I should be doing and I kind of feel like I survived by luck. And that's what almost all the early game fights do. And then when I get all the party members, I kind of feel like... This is the fourth time I'm playing this game, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, when I get all the party members, I kind of feel like... What I'm instead getting is more of like a a very easy fight that I can just kind of tank through. Nope, I want to get that bug. Give me that bug. It's alive. I love this game, man. 
Like initially I, I did kind of write off the story, but we can use the paper cup. Cool. So there is something either in the tent or in this room where we can, or maybe it's here. I know it's very close to here. Um, where we can do something. Why does Data Mold have 175? Did he start with more? I guess Data Mold's a mage. Like he's supposed to be the mage. That's kind of what his job is. Or the healer even. Then Pungorm is the tank, and I think Sumpsnos is supposed to be the DPS. But yeah, normally my strat is now to, like, I'm going to essentially replay the entire game. Um, I certainly hope that that's enjoyable to watch. Um, yeah, I'm going to replay the whole game. Oh, crap. I skipped some so this turn. Whatever, she's, dark, she's blind anyway. Cool. That works for me. And then I think this is space shurikens. This is the first like attack you're supposed to get. Yeah. Probably could have gotten it since I was going to come back here anyway, but oh, whatever. You may also notice that um, the Wayne head has been like the neck has been blown open. The reason for this is because these heads, you may notice, these heads all have loosely the same body. Um, and then they have clay accoutrement stuck to them. And when the Wayne head was ripped off of the body that it was put on, then it got, um, you know, torn open. But that was when the photograph was taken. But yeah, you can see that the Cone Cultists have the same sort of head thing going on. Data Mold is slow, we should remember that. But do as well. But yeah, I feel like there's not a lot of like really honest fights here. Because I feel like either I can just lame it out through these fights, or I'm you know, fighting the final boss, or I'm, like, either I feel like I'm laming it out because I am doing it, you know, in the way that I would, where I've, like, over-leveled and I'm grinded like crazy. Oh, shit, she doesn't have it. Let's just do this, huh? Oh, cool. But yeah, like, you get the beast axe for dying, not for doing a bunch of work in the fight. Like, you don't get that for leveling up. Um, And then, like, because I'm not even leveling, because I have to save my meat, like... You know, I'm doing most of the game at essentially level one. I did it earlier just to show you, but... Oh, um, I should have brought this up earlier when I was talking about my go-to Hylic stuff. But there's this channel called Harry But Harry, I believe. Um, that's my guy when it comes to Hylic stuff. He's also doing Minecraft content now, which I, I appreciate. You know I love Minecraft. Did an LP of it like two years ago. Not a full LP by any means, but I did a lot of stuff. Um... Hmm. I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. Harry But Harry recently had a video. I say recently, but I don't know when this is going up. Uh, he recently had a video where he discussed the things that are on Mason Lindroth's Twitter. Because Mason Lindroth, again, the developer of this game, has been posting um, GIFs to Twitter that appear to contain the same art style present in Hylix 2.
Um, it's the same sort of models. It's the same sort of, you know, motion. Um, and it may or may not be Hylex 3. And he actually started tagging them as hashtag Hylex, which, you know, is very likely to mean that these are going to be things that are going into Hylex 3. And he even put together a, a write-up of the stuff that he thinks is going to be in the game. Cool. Cool. Yeah, normally you need to do like a special way of killing the flesh dashes, but you can just hit them with superior firepower. Um, but yes, I'm very excited to see what possibly could come of Hylix 3. There appears to be a thing going on where like... Um, Odozier, a boss from the second game, may be becoming, like, either an advisor or something, and we're going to get to see, like, the other side of things. Um, and there's a lot of enemies that appear to have the head of Wayne. Now, of course, Wayne has the head of Wayne already, and there's a bunch of Waynes to begin with. Um... But there's a, um... There's a lot of enemies, like specifically enemy looking guys that appear to have all Wayne heads. And of course, like Wayne's cat also has a Wayne head, but my theory is we know that, well, we don't know, but my theory is that Gibby was a mutant offshoot of Wayne's species. He's the same species of Wayne, but he grew up wrong and that's why his head is round. Um, Gibby is the final boss of this game and spoiler alert for a game that I have actually already LP'd, go watch it, it was great. Um, but Gibby is the final boss of Hylix 2 as well. Um, but in the same vein of like Gibby potentially being a mutant Wayne. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what Gibby looks like, he's actually in the intro. Um, he's the dude who is we haven't met yet. If you look at the three faces in the intro, he's the last one. I think that's all of them up here. So what we're going to try to do now is just play the whole game. Like without dying. And then we're going to get to the final boss. And doesn't matter what happens then because we need to die anyway. But now we have all the strong busted abilities. So it should be fine. Um, what was I saying? My theory is that there's going to be another new mutant Wayne offspring. And then that one's actually going to breed true. Because typically Wayne is a type. But the new Wayne appears to also be a type. But Gibby was not. Spiral Polycerate, that's what they were called, right? Um, what were we saying? Right, so my theory is that, like, Gibby could not breed. Gibby could not duplicate himself and make more Gibbs. Which is why um, reviving that specific Gibby was so important. Because, like, Gibby may even be cut off from the afterlife. I don't really know what determines who goes to the afterlife. Um, or what you do after the afterlife. If you go on with your time and move on or what, but... You know, it's one of those things where, like, maybe they'll clear it up in the sequel, but maybe them clearing it up would ruin it, you know? Something like that. Um, but yes, I strongly appreciated Harry But Harry's videos on the Hylix Twitter stuff. Um, and I also greatly enjoyed his Hylix Icebergs. Um, he did a long Hylix Iceberg that I absolutely recommend you go watch. Um, if you've seen my LP or if you've seen my long play of Hylix 1, or if you're, you know... If you don't really care where this is going and you're content to have this LPB background noise, watch the whole thing. But, um, because, like, I'll admit, this does not have a particularly complex story. Uh oh. Yeah, it's one of those interesting things where, like, 
this almost has a story like a manhua, like one of those crappy um, manhuas that all have that same 3D model of a castle. Or, um, we're missing one. What? Did I accidentally save over me not getting a paper cup? Hmm. That would be weird. That's another thing that's annoying. You essentially have a double unlock system to get your, your magic. Um, like, as though it weren't bad enough that you don't get the magic whenever you get it, but you also... You'll miss out on it. And then you'll not have it. And like, well now I need to remember that this one is here and I don't have it yet. So when I find another paper cup later, hopefully... Now, I could also use the glitch to get infinite paper cups. Um, I think there's no reason to get any more than six. I talked about that earlier, where you can find like a high amount of paper cups. Um, somewhere in the area with Datasmon. Mystic Meat. That's just the um, clearing thing. But yeah, the running theory is that Hylix 3 is going to be like another side and we're going to get to see like an evil Wayne or a alternative style of Wayne or something going on. Um, I hope that it's not like, I don't know how to say ruined because this game is cool. Oops. This game is cool being like it is. It's cool being very specific. Is it you? Do I put it on you? Parasite crystal. Increases will and decreases flesh. Nah. Oh, I think Mold must have one of those. Is that why he has more? No. Ah, whatever. We've got some more mu muscle appliques, so let's put some of those on, huh? And we've got 75 meat. Cool. Cool. 